From excitement to anger, a Westmoreland County man thought he had won thousands of dollars in a sweepstakes, but it turned out to be a hoax. Ross Kadati shows us how this guy got swindled and what you can do to avoid falling for the same trap. It was a colorful letter telling the victim in this case he'd won big thanks to the U.S. sweepstakes and fulfillment company. All he had to do was just give him a call and $35,000 would soon be on the way. Oh, but being the big winner, our victim, an 89-year-old was going to get a new set of wheels as well. Part of him winning this award, he was also going to get a Buick. There was, however, a pretty big caveat. To receive this award, he was going to have to give them a check for $10,000. They made him feel that he had a punishment that he was going to receive by not accepting this award. Over the next eight days, the victim, a veteran of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam sent personal financial information to get the big prize. He had no idea he was being set up. Because of the information he was able to give to the culprits over the phone, they were able to withdraw that $15,000 from this poor man's account. State troopers would get involved, and they noticed something about the letter. A red flag. And they spelled Buick incorrectly. The bonus sweepstakes letter, likely from overseas, however. The U.S. Sweepstakes and Fulfillment Company is a legitimate company. The U.S. Sweepstakes and Fulfillment Company's name has been used so often in scams, the company's own website warns folks be careful, saying that winners are not required to pay before receiving the prize, and if you need to send money before receiving the prize, it's most likely a scam. Well, I will say these are one of the most difficult cases to try and solve. Finally, if you've been the victim of a scam similar to this or any other, check out this story on kdk.com in the links and numbers section. And whether you're 19 or 90, the old adage still holds up. If it looks, sounds, or seems too good to be true, it probably is. Ross Gadotti, KDK News.